This is James Robertson with Syncom Systems. I went through a basic blog server demo using Seaside and some scaffolding work we've been doing on the Syncom Smalltalk Seaside team. What I didn't go through is the basic database hookup behind that in any great detail, so I'm going to go through that now. So looking at the basics for that, I have a post class that has title, content, created, and comments. And the only thing that's different in here is that I have an initialized method that initializes created and comments to timestamp and an ordered collection, respectively. Then I have a comment class that sets up two instance variables. And then finally, I needed to have a way of having those described to the database. So I have a blog server system descending from the active record system. And that has two methods for hooking up the tables from Smalltalk over to the database. And if I look at that, I have creating field named ID, give it the platform type for the database, tell it to be the primary key, describe the next field, the next field, and so on. And then over here in comments, I the only thing I have to do additionally is set up my foreign key relationship where I have a field named post ID, and that's a type integer. And then I add the foreign key relationship over to the comments field so that I can have the two hooked together. Now the only thing I really need to do to work with this is I can tell any server system in Glorp terms to recreate the tables. And to see what that did, let's go ahead and browse the implementers of recreate tables. And you can see what that does is it drops the tables and recreates them. So if I go ahead and bring up an ad hoc query tool and I connect to my database, and then I do a select star from posts, you'll see there's nothing there. The table's there, but nothing's in it. Now you also notice that while the domain object is called post, again, using the active record pattern, if the table's called posts, the domain object is post because the assumption is, well, there are many post objects, so it should be plural. So let's go ahead and leave that aside for a moment. And let's just show that we can create new objects. So let's create a new post object here with a title and some content. Tell that guy to save itself into the database. And there it is. Bring that over. So I created that object by telling it to save. I went and selected star from post and suddenly you see there's an object in the database. Now let's go ahead and delete it and go ahead and execute this again. And sure enough, it's empty. So that's really all there is to setting up my domain object model. I have to create the objects, descend them from active record, create the descriptor system, and define the table structure, and then pretty much I'm good to go. At that point, I can go ahead and start building my Seaside UI.